okay now all the time state load cases are in the combinations okay so now i will run analysis Now analysis is complete. Now I will go to Apple. Analysis, results, reactions, base reaction. Okay. Here I will select the load combination and the load pattern at quick X at Y. Similarly, at quick, uh, time history load case in X, time history uh, node minimum. Okay. And the Y. Okay, so now you can also take the minimum value, it will not affect much. Sorry, at quick X, at quick Y. Okay, so now you can see the due to equivalent static load method the values are 5141.9 and due to time history analysis the base shear or base reactions are 2996 means 3000 similarly in the y the value is 5141 but due to time history the values in the y directions are 1989 or you can say 2135 we have to take the average and calculate the multiplication factor here i will show you how here is 5141 divided by here is the average value will be around about 3000 so i will click 3100 okay here is a multiplication factor 1.68 so uh, code says that your uh, your value the difference between the values between this reaction and due to time history do not more than 15 percent so that's why we have to multiply this lower value to to adjust to to the uh, to become so much large so that it uh, comes near to this value so for that i have calculated the multiplication factor 1.65 similarly for the uh, downward here I'm just writing 1.65 for x direction. Let's see what's the value are in the y direction. Mm, that will be uh, 21 or yeah. So here I'm putting 205. Okay. 2050 enter so 2.5 factor in the in y direction i will unlock model and again go to define load case here in the x direction did it multiplication factor 1.65 okay and for the y direction the value is 2.5 2.507 so you can ignore okay 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 now again run analysis and we will see again the reaction values Now the analysis is complete. I will again go in the analysis, results, reactions, base reaction. So here software updated the base reactions. So now you can see here is a 5000, here is a 4944 and the 536 is now the values are near. Uh, but in the y direction again the values are coming in the nearable range. So let's see what's the difference. Uh, for 
टू फाइव वन फोर टू फाइव वन डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव वन फोर वन ओके मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड द वैल्यू इज एटीन एटी टू सो सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू टेक द एवरेज So hundred minus eighty two. Still, the difference is eighteen percent. So, or you can say seventeen percent. You have to again multiply the factor by by calculating the factor. Here, you will again calculate the factor. Here is the factor one point two. so now i will apply in the both 1.2 more factor in the fine load cases again run analysis and check the reactions analysis is complete now i will gain in the analysis results reactions base reaction here i will again select okay so let's see here is the 5141 so here now values are more but in the y direction now the values are nearable so uh, in the x direction we have to decrease up to some extent so let's see is it within the 15% uh, 5141 divided by uh, its average will be 62 roughly so again the 18% now we have to decrease in the in the x direction uh, by applying the factor now the due to the uh, time history the values are higher so uh, and it is uh, nearly 15% approximately 15% the difference so that's okay so now i will uh, the analysis the complete load combination have been defined now i will go in the design concrete frame design okay here start design flash check
and now the design is complete okay check if uh, design concrete frame design uh, and verify 86 concrete members fail in the design check do you want to select them no so for example if we want to see the forces now i want to see the reinforcement in the column I will right click okay so here is a reinforcement requirement similarly here in the beam a beam is failing in the shear so we have to select all the failed beam and increase the size of these beams and then again analyze and design this process we will repeat until the all the members pass the check so that's all for time history analysis have a nice day so you can also see the deformed shape uh, due to time is analysis display show deformed shape for example due to uh, time history in the x direction here apply that is a zero uh, second okay so uh, we have 300 steps so now i am putting the time step for example 33 apply okay now the beam is deforming so we can also select the absolute maximum or absolute minimum for example here is maximum apply so that's the maximum deformation similarly minimum okay so that's coming towards uh, towards the my side so here absolute maximum so you can see the what the deformed behavior at any uh, time step okay so you can also see display plot functions okay or response plot for example plot functions okay here right now the software is showing what time and base shear in the x direction so here is the maximum and minimum values okay so at 2.4 second around about here the maximum base shear is 5933 kN okay similarly you can also see in the y direction if this is not available in the y direction then you can from here add new function and that will be base force okay and base shear will be in the y direction i am changing the name its name that is base f y okay then i will move towards here and fx is now i want to see in the y direction right now it is in the x direction okay okay now you can see in the y direction similarly you can see many more functions as you have seen okay for example here you can define new functions story forces pure forces joint velocity joint displacements any okay so all these uh, forces you can see in the time history analysis so that's all for the time history analysis have a nice day